For everybody out there that's already sold on Shopify, you know that there is no better feeling than the first time that app on your phone makes the cha-ching sound, you get your first sale, and you get notified that, let's just say, $1,000 is going to be in your bank account within 48 hours. You're super excited. You can't believe you did it. Sales are finally coming in. Let's go. Let's build a business. So you pay for the cost of goods sold, maybe $500. You pay for shipping, if you offer free shipping, maybe Maybe another hundred dollars. You spend six hundred dollars. You think I have four hundred dollars net profit. I am winning. Life is good. And then for a select few out there, possibly the people that don't pay attention to this video, a few days goes by, or a few weeks, maybe even a few months, and you get another notification on your phone. And this is one that nobody ever wants to see. This is one saying that that order was actually fraudulent and that that $1,000 that went into your bank account is now being deducted. Now you're out that $1,000, you're out the money you spent for the cost of goods sold and for shipping, and where you thought you had actually made $400, you actually lost $600 in processing order that was fraudulent. I do not want that to happen to anybody. That's the point of this video. And what I'm gonna do is share two common methods of fraud on Shopify and how you can avoid them. So easily the most common type of fraud on Shopify occurs when people use stolen credit cards. Now this can happen a few different ways. It could be somebody with no moral compass is walking down the street, they find a wallet, they pick it up, they decide to use the credit card online. Now, yes, that can happen, but it's very rare. The majority of these fraudulent orders occur from people or groups of people that actually buy lists of stolen credit card information online and then just use as many of them as they can all over the place on a bunch of different websites. And the good news is this is also the most avoidable type of fraud that takes place on Shopify. And the first thing that everybody should do, whether you're selling inexpensive products or expensive products, is whenever an order comes in, be sure to check the fraud analysis in the back end of Shopify. This is gonna put the credit card and the order information through a series of automated checks that Shopify does. And what you'll be able to see here is if Shopify deems this order as low risk, medium risk, or high risk. Now, medium, you can make your own decisions on. If something comes in as high risk, more often than not, it is fraudulent. But whenever we see this, I do like to verify it to see if it's actually fraud or not. And the easiest way to do this is just call the number that the person left on the order information and see if you can verify it's actually a real person or a real business. Also to search the address that comes through with the order and see if you could find the name of the people that live there. Usually this is a quick Google search. There's a tool called spokio.com. You could basically type in any address and find the names of the people that live there. Pretty creepy, but it works and it helps you save money if Shopify is telling you an order has a high risk of being fraudulent. Now the second most common type of fraud on Shopify is what I'll refer to as email fraud. And the way this works is you'll receive an email at your store's email address, or maybe somebody will submit a message through your store's contact form, and it'll say something like, Dear Sir slash Madame, I'm interested in buying the most expensive item on your store, or I'm interested in buying 50 pieces of this item, XYZ. Please respond with your pricing and how you can accept payment, right? Something vague like that and something that doesn't need to be asked. The person sending the email can see the price on your website. They can also see which methods of payment you accept. So why do people send these emails? Well, if they're that vague, it's typically just to get a response. Maybe you saying the price is you know, one, two, three, and we accept Visa, MasterCard, Apple Pay, Amex, whatever you accept, right? Now, the way they'll respond from there is by saying, okay, thank you, sir slash madam. We would like to place the order and we will provide our own shipping carrier information because I'm shipping this item to my son or daughter in Zimbabwe at medical school, right? Or something ridiculous like that. What will happen is they can either send you a bank wire from an account that they stole access to, so somebody else's money, which of course, you could be sued so the person gets their money back. Or what they can do is start a bank wire from an account that doesn't actually have sufficient funds. And you may see in your account that, oh, I have a pending incoming wire transfer of $10,000. You think you're good. Maybe you let them pick up the products. And then guess what? The money never clears. You're out the money. You're out the products. Something else that's common with this type of scam is maybe they have to pay $10,000. They send 20. They send you an email. I'm so sorry. I sent the wrong amount of money. Please send $10,000 back. You send $10,000 back. 
the full 20,000 wire fails, and now you're out $10,000 and they're sitting there laughing. And again, I'll come back to where I started this video. I know in the beginning, every time you see a potential order or an order comes in, it's exciting, you want it to be real, but please do yourself a favor, rewatch this video if you need to, so you can understand what fraud looks like before it becomes an issue. And if you know anybody out there with the Shopify store, do me a favor, share this video with them, because I think it could save a lot of new sellers a lot of money, because in the beginning, we simply don't know what we don't know.